Welcome to this 10-minute Budokan-inspired yoga flow session where we find our inner warrior. Join me in a seated kneeling position, nice and comfortable, taking a few deep breaths in through the nose and gently exhale. Start with big shoulder rolls and head circles. Tipping the chin down to your chest, rolling through the neck with control and then take it through in the other direction nice and relaxed lift up tall stretch all the way through the spine bring the hands down beside you let's have a twist and rotation to one side and twist in the other direction so you're placing your hand on the outside edge of your thigh keeping the shoulders level then we lift up and tip over opening up the side of our waist and our ribs and lift up and stretch over to the other side sweeping around in a nice big circle now waking up through the spine mobility and control good just taking your time moving in one direction to the other start to increase your range of movement pushing the hips forward arching back before we move into being on all fours tuck those toes under and now just start gently rocking your hips forward and back and freeing up the movement through the front of your body pushing all the way back extend through the back arch through your back then round off as you reach forward lift the head and then push yourself back try and be as dynamic as you can just see how the body feels for you today in this session Lastly, you just have a little bit of a rest, bring the knees down and start to roll through the spine, flicking the head up. Coming into all fours, through some shoulder rolls, trying to get into any tightness that's in the middle part of your upper back. And again, start to sweep around. You're gonna push back onto your heels as far as you can, reach an arm forward, over to the other side, and then just feel the stretch around the side of your armpits and underneath your lats before moving into a seated position bringing the feet together and let's just start to butterfly through those knees and hips we're going to winch wiper the knees placing the feet on the floor and then tip the knees down opposite sides and just trying to warm up and mobilize and nourish those juicy little hips Good, taking your time and then see if we can push a little bit further in before pushing yourself back again onto all fours and then tuck those toes under start to walk out as you move into your down dog position pedaling through the feet pushing the opposite heel down squat down as much as you can big frog squat before pushing yourself forward and arching back lifting those hips up high flat through the back Let's bend through those knees, nice and juicy now. See how much range of movement you've got before bringing it forward, rolling through the back as much as you can, pedaling through the feet. Lift one leg up, take it nice and high all the way up to the ceiling. Now try and tip it back now as we open up the hips and the side of your body before sweeping that knee through. Bring it up underneath the chest, then drive it back nice and tall. Lift up, bring that knee back and place the foot on the floor. Pedal through the feet. Lift the other leg up now nice and tall bend through the knee and bring it in good little pause once you do that now come on up bring it back in and pedal through those feet dropping down onto the knees pushing back taking a little breather just let all of that nourishing little mobility work just settle into your body before grabbing hold of the back of your heels and then trying to lift up stretch through the back and roll yourself back up start to mobilize through the spine a little bit more tuck that chin in reach forward round off the back now tuck your chin down to your chest now open up bring those our hands back behind you interlock the fingers squeezing through the shoulder blades lifting the chest up high before coming up to a kneeling position bringing yourself back onto your bum and let's find a comfortable seated position reaching forward and just going to gently lower yourself down using your core engage for that control reach up spread the arms over your body nice big arm circles now keeping the shoulder blades down on the floor use your core to bring you back up to seated trying to keep those legs straight as you reach to the toes and let's take that back down again always with control glide your hands and sweep and then bring those feet up over your head 
one foot goes back behind the knee, you're gonna roll forward, find your warrior's base. Push forward, lifting up, opening up the hips, reposition, sit back down, gently lay back down. Sweep up through the body, bring those both feet back over the head now. That's it. Good. This time take the other foot behind the other knee, bringing yourself down, find warrior's base on your other leg, lifting up, pushing through the hips, be stable, be strong, find your inner warrior, be strong and focus, laying back down, surrendering now. Lift those both legs up. Each time you do, you're going to bring it back and take it a little bit further over the head, round two. Let's lift up again, see if you can lift a little bit further. Come up onto your feet into a low lunge now. Settle back into warrior's base, rolling back. And surrender, control, engage that core. Feet come back behind you. Just take them back as far as is comfortable. Make sure you do the other side. Bring it back up, lifting up that low lunge. Leg strength, warrior strength, stable base. Settle yourself in now, last time. Bring those feet up, and that's it. Nice and long, stretching through. Right foot behind your left knee, bring it up, and then let's hand it on the floor. Now let's lift up. Can we do a standing split? Just as far as your legs will take you today. Settling back in, warrior's base. Engage through that core. Take your time, control on the way down. Surrender. And let's do that again. Other foot, back of the knee. Bring yourself up. Good, place the hands down on the floor, stable. Lift the leg up tall, open through the hips. And slowly lower back down, find your base. Control, take your time. Good, surrender. Big lift, feet go back behind your head. Each time you do this, you'll find you'll go a little bit further and you'll be a bit more dynamic as you come in. Now let's see if we can stand and we're going to aim for a half moon position. Standing leg is strong, arm comes up and is lifted. Can we lift up from the floor, find your balance, find your focus and hold before you bring it back down. Some days you might feel a little bit more uh, wobbly than others but just go with how your body feels today in that moment. We're going to do that on the other side so let's set ourselves up, feet behind your head roll back down opposite foot goes behind that knee that's it ground yourself down stable standing long leg is strong and open up reach open through the chest lift up tall see if we can break free focus and balance open up the hips stand strong it's okay if we fall and now let's bring it back down and settle back in surrendering Set all in before we bring those feet up again over the back of your head. Sweeping, lifting, and this time as we go into your standing split, you're going to find you can lift that leg up a little bit higher. Each time you do this move, try and push a little bit more. See what your body allows you to do. Staying focused, breathe. That combination of warrior and yogi and dynamic and fluid and smooth take yourself back down from your warrior's base lay yourself back down on the floor get yourself comfortable feet come back over the head and just take a moment let it all settle in before you slowly bring your feet up hands come back behind your back back see if we can get move into a shoulder stand position Engage those quads, activate the legs, bring the knees down now towards your face, see if you can go into your deaf man pose, arms come out behind you. Only do this as if, if it is comfortable for you, extending those legs, support your lower back as you bring those feet back up to the ceiling, engage, abs are on fire, control, that's where your power is, calmness, control in the effort of that movement. Lowering those feet back down to the floor over your head. Now slowly uncurl, lowering all the way down. Extend, extend, take your time. Bring yourself up straight away into a seated V position or a, a boat position. Pop your chest, pull those shoulder blades back. Lift tall and extend those legs. And rock yourself back. And now really start to feel fluid with that movement. And then just play 
as you lower those feet down to the floor. Good, sitting yourself back up. Let's come back round. We're now gonna find a seated position. Soles of your feet are together. Just gently rock side to side. Opening up a bit more through those hips. And let's bring it forward. Now tuck your head in as low as you can go. Holding on to the toes. From here, let's swing it around. And you are now back on to all fours. Tucking those toes under. Rocking yourself forward and back. Pushing back now into a low seated squat position. And we're just going to gently rock side to side in this movement placing one knee forward and down and really start to nourish and make those hips nice and juicy it's going to free up any stiffness any tightness so you can really start to open up those hips and bring back the body movement the dynamic swing as you push control through that core lift and take it around walking back into your low squat position now trying to keep the heels on the floor if you can lift through the chest use your elbows to push open the knees now surrender find that calm hands are going to come back down onto the floor you're going to lift up tall good and let's settle in again come up onto those toes push heels back to the floor and let's sweep it back around push the hips forward good Body might be feeling a little bit tired now we've asked a lot of it so take your time with these movements pushing yourself back into that active dynamic child's pose squat into all fours and let's lift up I'm going to do a few little hip circles here now just mobilizing through the lumbar part of your lower back and drive the hips around in one direction and then the other small little circles before pushing yourself back onto those heels and uh, let's see how juicy those hips can feel now you might find you've got a little bit more movement in them as you push down knee comes to the floor and you open up through the hips and start to sweep that arm around with you as you go a little bit of a warrior guard if you like coming back to that essence of warrior and yogi strong controlled centered and calm So it's standing yourself up nice and tall. One last fold forward, tucking the head in to meet your shins, hugging round the back of your calves. And let's bring ourselves back down. Take your time and settle back into it. We've worked hard to get here. We're going to bring ourselves back down onto the floor where we will shortly close off the practice and the session. So I hope you've enjoyed this session with me here today. Remember to like and subscribe for more future content. And until next time, thank you for joining me today.